Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome back to Hardcore Season 2. We're on Episode 3 right now, and oh my gosh, I am so excited to be back here working in this world. Thank you so very much for all the support so far. If you're still enjoying the series, please be sure to click that like button down below. But holy cow, y'all have been hitting me up with suggestions like crazy. I've been loving reading through the comments because it's just been so absolutely fun. Today we're starting off with doing a little bit of work here, getting our crops planted down, and gathering up all of the wheat we can so we can keep on making some bread because I have no food I well you can see 32 bread in my inventory right now but after that we got pretty much nothing the carrots and potatoes will uh, might as well we're here my plan for today was to do a little bit of exploring around the world see if we could find those two buried treasure maps and see what we can get out of those and then also acquire a few more saplings for ourselves we know where a savanna is so we can get the uh, cha-cha sapling over there and then I would love to see if we can find a dark oak forest maybe we might be able to find a dark oak forest and get ourselves some dark oak wood because that would be awesome to have but that's actually a pretty good supply right there the sugar cane we definitely need to get that sorted here soon so maybe we just set up something temporary to get ourselves started definitely going to need another iron shovel for ourselves here as uh, the current one we have uh, I don't think there's any durability on it now I've been doing a little bit of work in between episodes gathering up a bunch of wood and spreading our saplings down as last time we unfortunately lost all of them and what's uh, there's wonder trader what do you got for us buddy i thought that was like a pillager <laughs> i saw the head of something and then the dark colors of the donkeys and horses in the background i was like oh god not pillagers already Ooh, jungle sapling not that i have any emeralds though but they could have a jungle sapling maybe that's how we get dark oak saplings in the future but we got some oak saplings down here we've got some spruce saplings going i've got quite a bit of wood gathered up but what I'm thinking we can do is just take something right down in here. And there goes the shovel. My thought was we could start a very simple sugarcane farm here for ourselves and just placing things going all the way around this and then making it just long enough that we might be able to get a full stack of sugarcane on it when we gather it up. So we can have one route going right into here. And then if we count ourselves over like five, six, seven blocks this way and add in another water source, if anything falls into the middle, that means we just have to jump right down there, grab it, and then we can move on. So this stuff will up we'll add it in there as we're going and you know what we might as well do it we're in the the starter farm method right now is i have a bunch of pumpkin and melon seeds inside of here we might as well plant those down here too how could i forget the wandering trader is the perfect lead salesman wow I, that was a terrible hit <laughs> oh god no before the llamas kill us before the llamas get us leads 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 okay we got him we got him please boys we're friends now we're friends right that might have been a bad decision I guess we can get some leather too. No, I can't, I can't do that. I, ca I can't bring myself to kill the wandering trader llamas. We have to keep them alive. We're just going to run around and see if we can't get these seeds down. I got six for each of them right now. I think this water source is almost perfect. So we're going to do that right in here. So what we can start doing here to save ourselves a little bit of space is do a row with the melon seeds right back in here. And then we can do pumpkin seeds right in front of them. And I believe if we do that correctly... We can also hoe one, two, three, and four right out to here, where we can have another row of melon seeds once we eventually get enough of them. And then we can do the same thing off to that side. So we can have a lot of them growing in there together. But now it's time to sleep. Rise and shine. Happy morning. Are we friends yet? Or do you still not? You still don't like me. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm going to leave you here. Let's go get on our boat. Oh, wait, no. I need the buried treasure maps. So we got to get those first. There we go. We got both of them in hand and we are ready to rock. I think we're going to leave the hoe behind and the arrow behind. So we have just a little bit more inventory space for ourselves. Right. I did leave my boat down here. Awesome. That's going to be fantastic to move ourselves away from here for just a little while now the main plan for today's episode my friends is actually going to be expanding our storage room i want to add another structure back to our base so we can get a place to store things more easily i am loving the skyline we have with those buildings right there the bamboo in there also i normally don't do that but i've been kind of loving it it's been really cool being right next to the jungle and kind of putting a little bit of a vibe of that inside of our build here too all hail the glorious floating sand and the glorious double floating sand oh we have to keep those there forever now we should be right above it about over here i think we line ourselves up on this guy oh how do i get under the boat that's not how you get out of a boat i think if we dig straight down from right here with a little bit of the white butt of that arrow pointer showing we should be able to find it hey there we, i'll take it 
Perfect, we got some cooked salmon, we've got some emeralds. Ooh, we could buy that jungle sapling if we needed one. Number one is done, we're just gonna yeet that off to the corner, and let's go ahead and see if we can't find number two. First and foremost, the nether portal. Ooh, more pumpkins though. Now hopefully this floating mess of nether stuff over here will not have too much lava in it for one, but two, we might be able to find, ooh, a quick bath right in there, a nice hot tub. And some more obsidian for ourselves, a flint and steel, some flint, and then an unbreaking three gold shovel. Not enough obsidian to rebuild this portal, unfortunately. We'll be back for you later. For now, I'm just gonna add right onto it. I think I do wanna rebuild this guy here eventually. Start to see the corner of the map now at least, and I'm seeing a bunch of two tall flowers out here as well, which we might be able to grab and bring home with us. We have those guys back at the base already. So we don't need them quite yet, but I'm hoping we can find some other stuff. Swim right over the top of the treasure map. It seems to be way, way deep underwater. We're all the way out here. Oh my gosh. So if we are at right here again, doing the same trick and going straight down, this thing is at the bottom of the ocean. Oh my gosh, we gotta be careful of the breath. And there we go, we've got it. Oh, we got diamonds, we got gold. Oh, get everything, get everything. The breath is ending, breath is ending. Iron sword, go, 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 go. Out, 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 out. And we did it, safe and sound. Check that out, two more diamonds for ourselves and a new iron sword. We got a bunch of iron and some gold and two hearts of the sea now. Oh, that's a big value. Now for the next important mission, being the builder that I am, I love to have blocks to work with and different types of blocks to work with. We can't just be building out of spruce and cobblestone and oak that we have right now we've got to go find some more stuff so i got to see if we can't find that acacia biome that we saw the shattered savannah right where we spawned in and then maybe i'm gonna scour along this edge a little bit here because i know the shattered savannah is right about over that way so if i can find a dark oak forest that would be amazing <laughs> what we did find though is an ocean monument how about draining that round too yeah no never again never again stopping on some kelp for a quick little sleepy sleep though to pass the night and we're gonna be moving on this brings water beds to a whole new level I've really grown to love the beginning days of Minecraft where you just need your simple starter farms, you need to run around the world, see what loot you can find just from random things all over the place like the nether portals up here, we've got another shipwreck right over there that we can explore, and it's just so fun seeing what you can find. And jumping over the lava, and we've got a gold chest plate and some more obsidian for ourselves, I think I'm gonna leave all those things, blast protection for taking it. I honestly think, for my own sanity, it's worth wearing the gold blast protection for chest beat. We've got ourselves another buried treasure map in here and some paper and a few feathers. Okay, I'm thinking buried treasure map if it's close and it looks like it's out in the water on a lone island. And holy cow, there's a treasure inside this boat itself. Coming up on the island now for the buried treasure map number three. We're gonna be able to get some very cool loot over here and wow, we've already passed by it. Beep, 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 beep. And we're diving. I kind of forgot to look where it is. I think it's under this one piece of gravel though. It is, look at that. Oh, so much good stuff. No diamonds in this guy though, but we got emeralds, we got fishies, we've got TNT and oh, like all the good stuff. Oh, we're drowning and out of the water. A nice cooked cod to celebrate. Good news is though, is we've managed to find a desert. So as soon as we start needing lots of glass and sand and concrete stuff over there, we've got that ready to go for us. So I'm very, very happy to see that. All that leaves for us to be on the lookout for now, funny enough, is the dark oak forest still. And then we are also are gonna be needing to find a mesa biome somewhere, but I'm kinda worried about that one. Unless it's attached to this desert up here. I don't really know where we're gonna be able to find that. Not gonna let the lack of the mesa or dark oak forest hold us back here because this mission has been a huge success. Now deserts are also super useful for being able to see a very, very long distance if you can get on top of one of the hills. So maybe we can spot a village out here or maybe we can spot a desert temple, maybe. I am seeing a frowny face in the sky, however, that I believe is a pillager outpost. Yep, it looks like we have a pillager outpost up here. That could be something useful for a raid farm in the future because uh, Totobo and dying. We want that in our offhand as soon as we possibly can. Extra shipwreck full of loot. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, more gold. And of course, if we can find it down here, another buried treasure map. I think it's in a whole completely different ocean. We'll get this guy later. There it is, the shattered savannah in all of its glory loading in right here in front of us. These bombs are so fun, but now that I've been playing on Amplified recently, wait, is this Axis not ocean? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. We might be able to get this treasure map after all. But now that I've been playing on Amplified in the other survival world, Holy cow, these things look tiny. I do love all of the coarse dirt on them though. That is a good, good touch. 
This adventure of leading from one point to the other is really starting to pay off. We've got another village right over here. So maybe we can get some even more loot and check out this spruce forest here. That mega taiga is amazing. I love those biomes so much. Funny enough, this is actually fairly close to the buried treasure map too. So we're getting a two for one over here. Any goodies for us in here? Some more iron. I'll always take that. Another iron sword. We can just leave that guy here behind. Two more bread for ourselves and then smoke saplings and things that we don't really need. Headed up to the buried treasure and I'm seeing yet again another village up here. What is going on? This world is too insane. We've got another heart of sea, more gold, more fish, and prismarine crystals, which I don't really know what I would be able to use with. I'm never going to use just one sea lantern, so I'm going to just leave those behind. This is actually really great because that pillager outpost is right there, so we could easily kidnap a villager from there, set up a raid farm in the middle, and use the pillager outpost to get a bunch of raid levels, and there's an, um, oh my gosh, never-ending, never-ending journey, everybody. We're just going to keep on going. Eventually, we'll be full of just diamonds in here. If we just keep on moving, we're going to find everything. If you didn't catch it, it's because there's a desert temple right there too. I think the desert village is probably one of my favorite villages in all of Minecraft. There's just so much uniqueness to it. I love the shapes of all these structures and even that they have this big old tower, anything in it. We got some more cactus, but just check this thing out. We got the glazed terracottas over there. We got these lovely little farming areas right off of these things. And there's just so much uniqueness with like little terracotta accents to them. They got the cut sandstone. They got the different roof shapes. Ah, it's just so cool. We've managed to get up to 64 bread now. We are overflowing on food. What happened to you, buddy? You seem to be have taken a beating. Seems like they have seen some battles at this point. So maybe we just uh, walk away for now and head over to the much, much, much safer location of the monument, the desert monument. There's a lot of TNT and traps inside of this thing. So we're going to be very careful here. Making sure we light up the top just so that that's safe. And then taking the staircase down and going inside of this corner here. Just going to use some torches to light things up for ourselves. And I think we made it in here before any mobs spawn. So that is fantastic. We're just going to go directly down this side. Get rid of the pressure plate. This is now disarmed. And what do we got inside these chests? We've got Bane of Arthropods 1. We've, what do we got over here? A golden apple. I like that. Fine. We're taking that with us somehow. Respiration 1 and flame and a diamond. Three diamonds. Actually, we even got some gunpowder and some more string. I think I'm gonna have to leave all of these enchanted books here. There's just not really anything super good to take. They're all like level ones. So I don't think we take them with us. That golden apple though, is going right down on the hot bar. There's a second one and another village. What is going on? I, do, I don't even understand at this point. Okay, keep going north we go. Here we are for round two of lighting everything up inside of here. No creepers at least. That's the good signs that we can look for and nothing up there. Okay, time to dig right back on down again. Emeralds and more bones. Wow, we've got so much stuff. My inventory isn't even able to be at the point of saving it any further. We are bust into the seams over here and there's not many things I want to get rid of. This isn't one of those times where I would love to be, ooh, that's a big hole, did not expect that. I'd love to be in 1.17 though and have access to a bundle right now. So I think I might be able to take a few of these workstations with me. Just cursed Minecraft things, love that. I am in love with this mountain biome over here. Look at all these rock structures just spiking up out of the ocean. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool to build like a castle jumping between all the different rocks or maybe a fortress. I don't think they're quite big enough for a castle, but it is something really cool. And there's the smokestack. We're almost back home. Hey, llama buddy, are we friends again? Are we friends now? Oh, I think we're friends now. Oh, it's great to see you again. Welcome to the village. First things first, since we carried all the sugarcane back here with us, we might as well plant it down around our makeshift sugarcane farm. Definitely worth the inventory slot. Now we do have three saddles, however, so all of our horses can have a saddle. Well, the horse, the mule, the, oh my gosh, I have to tame this dude. Hi, how you doing, buddy? There we go, we got ourselves a mule and we can put a chest on him and he'll have a bunch of inventory space for us over here too. And the donkey and we'll name them all here shortly. I haven't decided on any yet, but y'all left some amazing suggestions. I think I gotta read through those one more time. Let them sit in my brain here a little bit. Maybe we'll be building the storage room, which I'm thinking is going right here. Now I've got a bit of a fun idea in mind for this one. Unfortunately, it means taking down the little bit of the flower grove we had built last time, as well as removing probably a few of these torches because I wanna send a pathway coming directly over here, which I think would be super cool. And then I wanted to actually have this thing looking like it's raised up on top of a hill. Now I am totally okay with making this area look a little bit more on the manicured side. And we're gonna start introducing some coarse dirt because I think it'd be the easiest way to get a pathway up here. For now, the lower area, we might as well just throw some torches in here because who knows how large it's gonna be. And I don't really wanna fill it all in for now. 
and maybe one more block i don't want it to feel too tall up here just something where we can have a platform of where we're actually actively moving upwards i think is going to be the big portion of this that i'm actually going to really enjoy so something like this would be a little walkway coming out to here now i don't want to be building my permanent forever storage room up here but i want to be able to build something that's gonna last us for a good while that we can fill up with a lot of junk and not worry about having to add extra storage space but i guess if we do have this open area underneath us we could always throw some things down there too starting off the structure i think we're gonna go right about here then we can count over one two three four and five and then we're gonna bring it all the way to here oh gosh this is gonna totally interrupt that way um uh, okay moving it over two blocks this way it'll be fine i would love to make a little bit of like a cross shaped storage room in here i think it'd be kind of fun i don't like the storage rooms where you walk in and all of the chests are just on one wall so i figured we would have to find a way to space them out and have it kind of wrapping around us so we have a little bit of a front entrance right in here and i really need to sleep we can come over to this side bump it out another block and then bring in a little bit more dirt and add in an oak log right back in here and then we're going to be extending this going backwards a few steps here too just enough be able to fit three storage chests inside of here then this is the part that's going to be really fun i think is we can wrap this around these corners throwing some oak logs in right about here and then back here we can cram in a bunch more of the double chest action which i think would be very cool to have i've been really enjoying recently using trap doors as a form of a wall so i think it's gonna be really fun to have that back here too and then we can throw this guy in and then i think that's gonna be cobblestone cobblestone and cobblestone and then we can do another little bit of the oak wood right back in here and then duplicate this going around the entire way and we end up with a space right like this in here which i think is gonna be absolutely perfect so we have space for three chests five chests and then three more chests over here and now that i'm thinking about it i want to see if i can grab some chests real fast as well as a few of these barrels because what we could maybe do to hide some extra storage in this place even more so is barrels here on the corner to be that structural beam and then if we do a chest right here and a chest right there i can still access the barrel oh that's awesome there's an extra six chests of space that we can have so i think we bring those guys right out here with some full blocks then we do the double slab and then we can do some full blocks right throughout here and we do double slab again double slab again and then i believe that brings us up to full blocks right across here let's take a look from down below i like that a lot i really like that hanging out if we do a little sticky outy bit like we got on that guy right up there in the center i love the fact that this is just two blocks higher off the ground it doesn't have to be too extreme but just a little bit of extra height and then we also have a basement space we can work with later now these sides over here i did make them as kind of a little bit on the weirder end because they're an even width whereas the both far ends right here are gonna be odd widths. so we're gonna figure this out as we go but i think what we can just manage for now is something right like this and what we could do in here instead of this top trap door right there to help bring that consistency of that line going across is adding in upside down spruce stairs maybe and then that leads us up directly with the point on the back there so i think we can just do some slab action coming out here and then we bring another slab up right like that could be good could be good and then we could bring these guys in all the way throughout here last little bits of the roof are starting to come together here as we get this corner in and then we just got to start stretching them all the way and that's a barrel stretching them all the way around here and it should be super easy but afterwards we get ending up with something right like this guy which i actually really am a big fan of so far what we can do on the end though is grabbing in the trap doors and just do a trap door right in here and then we could do that little sticky outy extra slab bit right there that looks like a full block and i really like that this is going to be an awesome amount of space in here but it's very dark it's very dark what if we hang some chains with some lanterns from the top because otherwise we're just kind of doing the torch spam that we have been doing so far and ooh, that actually doesn't look half bad but i need a torch there i need a torch there and maybe we do button 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 and then a button up there no 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 too many buttons but what we could do is chain and chain and then we do lantern and lantern i know that it is hanging real real low there but i think it'd be pretty cool I've got to get all of the chests inside of here, but first what I think we can manage is actually getting the wall around the back. I don't really want it to feel like just a dirt hill coming up out of the place. Just trying to add some variety in the types of walls that we're doing around this place. I feel like we got to try this out here with some of the spruce log, adding in a few of the trap doors as well, and just mixing it up so it's not just all of that going here. And then maybe even some of these oak logs in there too could work out. That is very similar to the building structure itself, but I'm not against it. I'm not completely against the idea of it. What I am against the idea of is being awake at nighttime. Time to go to bed.
I've got the first steps in going all the way around here. So we've got a bunch of strip spruce log, as I think we talked about before. We got some oak log and some sprucey bits in there as well. And then we can no longer see the basement on this side. Still got out of, oh, maybe we can right up there, but still got out a lot of texture variation to it and doing the work. I decided to bring the wood out on this side as well, cause I thought it'd be kind of cool. And then we're mixing that up by incorporating the stone right there as a bit of a harsh corner where they intersect into each other. The only place we gotta worry about now is back up here is we have to find a way to mob proof all of this stuff. For now, I'm thinking we just do a few torches cause they would be able to spawn back here and slide their way around the corner and get to the inside, which we don't really want. It appears that we have a few guests over here, my friends. I've got the entire structure finished up and I was just literally about to bring y'all in here and well, we have some pillagers over here. <laughs> they just kind of came out of nowhere and somehow are shooting through the wall. But, oh my gosh, they just were waiting for me to turn around. Oh, ow, ow, ow. I think this has to be a battle. Let me get my bucket so we can drink some milk afterwards, but I think we gotta go out there and fight them. Okay, there we go, let's do it. Let's get the bucket and we are moving outside. I don't think they can get in here, so we're gonna hopefully just run around and see if I get a little sneak attack on them. Nope, nope, they were ready for that one. Okay, well, let's see if y'all can just shoot each other, yeah? Oh, there's a lot of them. Yep, just shoot each other. It's gonna be great. We got rid of one of them. Oh, I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm taking damage. This is not good, not good, not good. Oh, there's a lot. We are running to eat some fish. Then we're going right back at them. Ooh, they killed each other. They killed each other and one just fell down the hole. All right, what do you got? Can I have that crossbow? Look at me remembering to use a shield here. Oh, I've grown up so much. Just the last guy left here. Can we use the shield to have him bounce these hits into himself? I think my shield's gonna break before we do that. So I guess we are now a voluntary exile. Where's a cow? Where is a cow? Thankfully we have no villagers around here so we could quickly get rid of this. If I can find a cow, that's a horse. There we go, there's our new best friend, the cow. Much, much better. Well, we're out here. It looks like a shirt gain is all grown up. So might as well harvest this guy and see if the system actually works out for us and all the shirt gain will end up in the middle for at least the ones that fall in the water. Eh, it kind of worked out. Okay, well, better than nothing. Well, as I was gonna show y'all, we now have all of the chests in here ready to go. This thing is looking pretty awesome. We have so much storage space between all of these. We have nine double chests over here, nine over there, and then we have, what is that, 18? 15, 15, not 18, 15. Well, that's pretty awesome. The whole outside place is decorated up more or less now, and you can see all the cool stuff over here. I tried fixing up a few places with the torches so it didn't look so overwhelmed with the torches and I had a few extra stone things, so I threw this nice little bit of a rock out here, and I like it. Next up for me, however, is sleeping through the night and just spending the time getting all of the items that we have inside of there. Everything has been moved into the storage room and I've been working out here expanding our sugarcane production a little bit and gathering up some oak logs over here because I wanna get a custom tree built up as the final thing for today. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself already, but I gathered up a bunch of oak leaves here and I've got a bunch of oak logs and I think a nice little custom tree could be so very cool inside of our village. Also on top of that, I figured I should mention we've got all of the stones and dirts and things over in this side. We've got kind of wood and stuff and glass and random things over in here. And then we have our riches and other random junk over in this area. So it's just kind of spread out all over the place. I think the storage room's gonna be pretty perfect. And I've decided on names for our animals. A lot of people are saying I should name them after food or favorite food types. So over here, let me present to you my favorite food ever. We have teriyaki and then we right here, we're gonna have sushi and this one right over here, our donkey is gonna be named Katsu. I love it. We have teriyaki, we have sushi and Katsu. Oh, the best, the best, the best, best. We'll get some name tags for them here soon, but I absolutely love the names that they have. And I believe, yes, we do have some spruce fences. Okay, so I'm thinking we could either jump right behind over there and build a custom tree, or I was thinking we could do something. I don't know how much we're gonna take away from the scenery we have if we built a custom tree right here. I think that would help hide up this little bit of the gross face of that structure being up there. Not my favorite angle. So I think if we do a custom tree, it can help hide it a little bit, but also make some points look a little extra cool. Now we don't have too much in the way of leaf action or even just logs in general. Now this one won't be super big because we don't have too much to be working with. So I'm thinking we can go with something right like about here and then maybe we do another one of those guys right back over in there. And then up here we can do a full block right like a so. Extending it out. I hate having the exposed bark on the end. So I'm gonna try and keep this up to these oak log guys that we have in here. And then maybe we do like another little extension right there. That can be this arm for it. And then maybe we bring ourselves right over here and do like a this one and then have another branch coming out right here and extending out that way. 
and a tiny little final branch because we can right back over here. And I think that'd be great. Having three different branches, I think it'd be totally perfect for this one. We can balance it out a lot. And then, uh, I'm sorry, berries, I'll get you back later. I like to use some fences to help smooth, that sucks, <laughs> to smooth the stuff out down here. I think some fences can really help us with creating a bit better of a shape with some stuff like that with tiny branches coming off. Must be very careful up here because apparently we can fall and die. I kind of forget that how bad, I always forget how bad falling is in Minecraft because I'm so used to having feather falling that it just never really bothers me. So we're gonna have to be very careful up here, but I'm thinking some branches setups right like a so should be really cool. And then, yeah, we'll kind of keep this as a flatter point in the middle. We're gonna have to be very careful about this being mob spawnable and everything as we're going. I don't have too many oak leaves and I don't have any shears on me right now. So we're gonna have to be very careful with how we're placing these in. And of course, now it is nighttime. Using dirt as a little bit of temporary placements in there, we can start to create a bit of this extra canopy feel. I like to make it so that we can definitely see some light through and we can see the ground or we can see through to the stars or the sky or whatever above us as we're making these trees. I think it's very, very important. So we can maybe do something right like up uh, here and I'll have to get the dirt out of the tree for sure in the end. After a while, we're gonna put something more along these lines that I think would be super cool. And now I've just gotta figure out the central point. I like that being a little bit taller and then maybe dipping this down a touch, but I think that'd be a little too flat. And we have skeletons. Okay, watching out for those. Now for the fun part of just bringing the leaves down just a touch on the side so it doesn't feel like a bowl cut haircut of sorts. We wanna make sure it feels like the leaves are actually draping down around the edges. On this design up here, I'm not thinking we bring them down too far, maybe two or three blocks down below. And then we bring in a little bit of action here in the center to help wrap it around. But that again is getting that bowl feel that I don't really want. And this is starting to look really awesome over here. Gotta take down a little bit of the dirt platforms I was using, but I was thinking we could add a little dead branch right in there that maybe shed all of its leaves so it's not doing too much. We can have another one in there. So it's just not quite popping out as much as anything else because this trunk is feeling a little thin compared to the tree network at the top. But that right there, I think helps it out a bunch. But there we have it, my friends, our first custom tree in here, which produces dirt as its fruit, which I am totally okay with. We now also have a storage room today and that tree behind it. Ooh, that looks perfect. I really didn't want it to feel like it was overarching over the tree because I think from farther down that way, it would really feel like it's shadowing everything up here. We've got some great names for our farm animals that we have so far over there. And I am absolutely loving this thing. Thank you so very much for the support on today's episode, folks. I think that's gonna be where we're gonna have to call it on this one because I am way out of time here. Please be sure to click that like button down below and let me know what you wanna be seeing next. I'm thinking we move towards some enchanting and maybe getting enchanting set up animal farms and the works here soon because uh, we need a lot of books to be moving forwards. But again, thank you all so very much for the support. Click that subscribe button if you're brand new. My friends, we are speeding towards 500,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is half a million. Absolutely insane. So thank you all so very much for the support on everything there and everything else. And with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.